Hey, it's Axel Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a quick show and tell Lavia by Model Model. It's, I believe it's called Pronounced Lavia. And I really like this unit. Um, I seem to like every unit I pick up. I guess that's, that's been my luck. It is a bob unit. And lately I've been really feeling bobs, bobs with bangs, the blunt cut bobs, or just the nice soft flies bobs like this. I do like this unit because it's very easy to wear that you can take straight out of the box and you can rock it to work, you can rock it for a night out. Depending on how you style your, your look for the night, um, this can be casual, dressed up, every day. It's just a perfect unit. The other thing that I love about this unit is the color. This time I decided to try something a little bit different. Um, this is the Sombre, I believe it's Sombre 430. And basically it has like a 1B, it seems, at the root. So it's a dark root, which is awesome because it's easy to blend transitions into this number four color number four is like a medium brown and then the 30 is highlights throughout it really is a subtle color so um very natural i love that the color is just so soft and effortless um it's just a really nice color that i was really surprised like how much i like this color the unit is a light yakky texture so it mimics african-american hair now if you see me kind of getting a couple tangles i have to apologize this review is not a review um like this is not just out of the box i've had this unit for several weeks and i just haven't had the time to really put together a video in about three weeks it is tangling a little bit that's fine it's not too much it's been more than three weeks i believe it's been about a month that i've had this unit and i've worn it to work i've worn it out um so like i said to have a little bit of tangling nail isn't that big of a problem i didn't experience any shedding on this unit it was a little bit shiny when um and i'm let me be honest i'm not gonna say the unit really wasn't that shiny it's just that i've been using dry shampoo on some of my units and i've noticed how realistic the dry shampoo how much it dies down the shine so now it's kind of like an automatic for me to grab the dry shampoo that's basically what i did with this unit as soon as i put it on so i wouldn't say that it's shiny or anything but i did use dry shampoo on it just to give it a more realistic look it doesn't come with any lace so it's really easy to take it out the box and um, put it on and go. You can put some finishing powder on the parting space. This unit has a six inch parting space, but the six inches, that little bit of an extra inch child, it just, to me, it just made it look so much more realistic. It made it look so much, like, so much more realistic, less wiggy. So I love the six inch parting space. And the fact that there's no lace to cut, I like that as well. It does come with two combs on the front and a comb in the back. I usually don't secure combs in the front because I'm always concerned about my edges, but I do use the wig grip to help um, with keeping my unit secure. Um, but yes, this unit, I just really love it. It's beautiful for every day. It's beautiful for a night out in the town. Um, I'll, I'll include a couple of pictures of a night out where I wore this unit and it just looks so cute. Like it's just a really nice unit. So I think I might purchase this unit again, probably in the same color. I want to show you how I apply the finishing powder to the parting space to camouflage the line of demarcation. And then I'm also going to show you how I apply my dry shampoo. So keep watching. First thing I'm going to do is apply my dry shampoo. The dry shampoo I use is Aussie. This is about $5 at CVS, so couldn't beat that. And I like Aussie products, so I figured I would like this one. But you can purchase any dry shampoo that you like. So I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I just simply spray it like shape, like um, hairspray. It's basically like powder, like a spray, almost like a sprayable powder. If you have like asthma or something like that, just be mindful because you don't want that um, fumes to bother you. Now I'm going to take my finishing powder. The finishing powder I always use for my units is by Black Radiance. Now you're going to use the color that is 
good for your complexion. Um, I'm the color I'm using is creamy beige. This is what works for my complexion. Um, so just figure out what works for yours. I would hate for you to purchase creamy beige and then you know be upset if it doesn't match with your your you know your scalp because you don't want it to be too bright. You want it to be just right that it blends in with your natural skin tone. Um, that you could possibly use for like lipstick um, application or eyeliner. And it's just a small, narrow brush. I don't use anything. I don't really use, like, big brushes, like, for eyeshadows. Um, you can use those if that's all that you have. And just, you know, apply it in such a way that it just camouflages the, um, the color of the lace. And that's all you're trying to do. You're just trying to make it so that the lace is camouflaged. And it's probably going to get a little bit on the hair. That's fine. Um, you really won't be able to tell. It really is It's like makeup. It's, it's just the way that you're tricking the eye. So it's... You really can't mess it up too much. And another thing that I would suggest, if you're new to, to wearing lace front units um, and making adjustments to your parting space, if you're not comfortable with tweezing, which is taking hairs out of the parting space because the parting space might be too dense, if you're not comfortable with doing that because you're new to units, go ahead and get yourself some finishing powder. Use your finishing powder that you already have that you use for makeup. Um, if you're not, if you aren't really into makeup and you don't really have any finishing powder, this one is a good one. This is by Black Radiance. It's five dollars at everywhere like walmart cvs rite aid the brand is called black radiance and this is their um their pressed powder yeah their pressed powder and the color i have is creamy beige so um like i said if you want to give this a try give it a try it's five dollars um and you can use this i say that because i've run into a couple instances where um people have consulted me for purchasing units and when i explain that they can um apply finishing powder or concealer to the parting space they're just like, they don't, they don't wear makeup, so they're not really familiar. So this whole concept of everything is new to them. So if you are one of those people, do not be afraid. Just get yourself this. This is $5. Um, you can also, e.l.f., they sell e.l.f. at Target, the same place where they sell this, and you can get a nice little brush, little teeny tiny brush like this one, um, for like a dollar or two dollars. So it's not a big investment, especially if you're someone that's new to this and you just want to play around a little bit. And um, just keep doing it. Play around at home with your unit and take pictures of yourself. Take selfies after you've made your adjustments to your Your unit take selfies if you like what you see most likely what you see in that selfie is the same thing that we're all going to see look fine sis so i'm just just giving that pointer that's just a little side note because i know sometimes you go on youtube and a lot of the videos are for people that are already into units they're not really you know we're already versed in these terminologies and everything plucking parts and you know opening up your part and applying finishing powder like people don't understand that I think we get so used to it that we don't understand that people that are new to this are just like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hopefully that helps you. And again, um, you can purchase these items without making a major investment and still have fun with your unit. The reason why we apply the, conce the concealer and the reason why you apply the concealer or finishing powder is because it just makes the part look more realistic. So it just makes it look less wiggy. So how it looks now, um, where it just looks like it's just plopped on my head, it's not going to look like that because I'm going to apply the finishing powder and it's going to um, create an illusion that the parting space is larger than it seems. So I'm just gonna apply the finishing powder. I just applied a little bit and I'm literally gonna apply a little bit to my forehead, like right where my hairline is, because your wig is probably gonna sit right on top of your hairline. So you're just gonna apply that finishing powder right there where that line of demarcation is. It's gonna go on your scalp and in that same motion, you're gonna move up and into the wig parting space. And you're just gonna keep doing that. Okay, so that's it. Um, I've finished applying the finishing powder to my parting space. And I hope you can see the difference. Um, the lighting isn't really the greatest right now, so I do apologize for that. But um, yeah, I hope that you liked this video and I hope that you found it helpful for you. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click the bell so you can get notifications and when I upload a video. Um, if you like more videos like this where you're getting tips on how to style your unit for a beginner, um, make sure to comment below and let me know and I will be sure to continue to make videos like this because I know a lot of women are interested in wearing wigs or new to wearing units um whether it be to switch up their style for health reasons 
and they want some assistance on how to get a natural looking unit so this is one of them i think this unit is very natural um oh let me do a 360 again i don't have any any cornrow skills so if you see like if you see any humps or anything that's not the unit that's just my hair i've parted my hair down the center and then i did three plaits on the on the right and three pet plaits on the left so if you see any humps in the back that's probably just my braids just all bunched up because my hair is kind of long and it's very thick so just excuse that but i'm going to do a real quick 360 for you so you can see the unit Oh yes, I really like this unit. I think it's beautiful. It's so awesome. You definitely gotta get this unit. This is going to be one that you can keep in your arsenal. It's affordable, twenty-six dollars on wigtights.com. I did purchase this unit with my own money, but I absolutely love it. Especially in two combs in the front, one comb in the back. It's a light, lightly texture and it has six inches of parting space and no lace to cut but the lace that is here in the parting space is soft lace so i do highly recommend this unit if you like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more goddess size diy style and beauty follow me on instagram at heysexotina or my blog at heysexotina.com thanks for watching